Good afternoon everyone, this is Matthew GS UK. We're currently 12th of October 2024. It's currently 12.35 p.m. This is episode 13 of the 51362 EMA strategy and it's been a really really good week for this strategy. I'm going to dive straight in. So from the previous week the trade actually played out. So this was on Bitcoin Post it in the Trade Masters group, which is free to join. So Bitcoin actually ended up filling in balance and hit and take profit over the weekend. So this was a beautiful trade. We had the 5 and the 13 EMA crossover here. Our target, because we always need target, is the imbalance here. And then we've got the institutional candle here, which is the last up candle before this big down move so this was our targets so coming back down here we had the 5 and the 13 EMA crossover there was actually imbalance that needed to be filled here so can you see how this is wicked down the 13 EMA went off and the 5 EMA so getting some, for some buyers there and then target was obviously the imbalance and the institutional candle. Stop plus just below there. Take profit around there. So it's like a one to six trade. So that was a beautiful trade from the previous week. Moving on to this week. Let's just delete this, make it a bit cleaner. So delete this imbalance. Okay, so, and this imbalance here. So moving now on to this week, we've got the vertical line just to show that this is the week that we're, we are now in. So potentially looking for sales because we're still in high. We did have the whole flip here. And before I move on to the, the whole flip, I've been made aware, someone messaged me on, I won't say where they messaged me actually, because uh, I probably get loads of messages, but I have been made aware that the MTFA whole moving average is not available now for anyone. I've actually done a search and I can't find it anywhere. So I don't know if it's been removed. However, it's still working for myself. Probably if I delete this, it won't be available to me anymore. It's not a problem. There is other indicators out there. I have been finding, trying to find some other indicators to replace that. And I do have a potential one to replace that because I want to be trading exactly the same way as you guys. It's not fair really on me saying whole flip and you can't see a whole flip. But just a quick one, all the whole flip is is the whole moving average if we go to settings here if we turn this on and if we turn on turn these off so this this is the whole moving average this is what it looks like and there's many other indicators that have the whole moving average that look exactly like this so price is obviously bullish here that's yellow when price reverses, potential reversal, it goes red. So this is just the whole moving average. If you wanted to search for other whole moving averages, you're more than welcome to. But I did like the in the settings here that you could have the indication for like a a buyer or sell when the mark when the hole is flipped. So that's why you see those red and green arrows there. So if I just hide this now, turn back on the 513.62 and then there is a indicator called fractals. Shout out to Ryan. He watches this stream and we've been friends for quite a few years now and I know he's going to be watching this, but he made me aware of something called fractals. Fractals is... Fractal patterns are used to identify potential reversal points in the market. That's all they are. So what I have done, the default settings, actually, the 
arrow is facing actually up here and down here so basically if i go to settings i flipped it around so shapes i've got up and then shapes down here i've got down so that means that this arrow here telling me down is a potential reversal in the market happening now here i believe this only happens when the candle is closed which is which is fine that's what we want so moving forward i'm going to do a little testing with fractals instead of the whole moving average because it does look pretty cool does it pretty good still does the kind of the same thing we just want to know when there's a potential reversal and that's all the whole moving moving average done as well it just tell, tells us when there's a potential reversal so i want to be seeing the same thing as you guys so i will be testing this out i will be testing the alerts on it as well this is the first time that i've i have used fractals in the past but i haven't set any alerts on it and i was mainly using the whole moving average so you have to bear with me whilst i do some testing on fractals okay so where we are now in this new week we are looking for potential sales because we are selling high where's our targets we always need targets so there is imbalance there's imbalance here as a target is there anything down here as imbalance that needs to be filled so if you zoom in a little bit i noticed this when i zoomed more in there is actually imbalance that needs to be filled here because you can see this candle here opened there and it just was very fast moving candles so there's in there's imbalance here that needs to be filled we also have the potential institutional candle, this last up candle before this down move. So we've got this area here. So we've got targets. One target, two target, three target. First of all, we've got the potential reversal in the market. So we're looking to sell high. I did not sell here because it's still risky. I really want to wait for the 5 and the 13 EMA to cross over. So as you can see, this candle here filled in this imbalance. So this imbalance is now filled. So we can get rid of that. The 5 and the 13 EMA has now crossed over. So that's beautiful. Price has come up. It's tapped into the 13 EMA. It's also gone through the, it was gone through all the EMAs actually. You've got all, the complete set here all crossed over. The 5 and the 13 and the 62 is, has all crossed over. And also the fractal has shown us that there's a potential reversal now in the market. So this is why I've got the arrow set to go down. Actually saying that, I should really put the, should I change that to white? Yeah, yeah, that needs to be colour coordinated. So this needs to be blue. This needs to be white. So the white is indicating for a short. That's why I've got my white bearish candles as, as obviously white for, for selling. And then the blue indication is okay now potential to to buy so that's why i've got that now as blue okay so that's all set up perfectly so opportunity to sell here market actually come up and tapped all the emas again here so you could have sold here so we've got all the confirmations we've got the targets to head towards so let's just sell there stop loss is there tp1 is see this imbalance here this is tp1 and then tp2 i would say is around there and this is a pretty much a one to three trade which is good and then i went in for the short here so this is that exact trade 
that I just done analysis for. Sold there, take profit, see it's filled in the imbalance already. And then it actually did slam through the take profit area. And then I closed all my positions in this trade. So we are really data analysis. We need to really analyze the market. And this is basically in a nutshell, what I look for getting into these trades. Uh, I only took one trade on Bitcoin this week. I was looking for that quality over quantity. So that was a beautiful trade that was caught. Let me just delete this. I missed Bitcoin for the buy. Reason being was because I was in gold and I was looking mainly at gold and I was very, very busy with other things. However, we could have caught the buy for Bitcoin as well. So I'll go over that. We've got the fractal. So we've got the symbol that there's a potential reversal in the market. And we're looking for potential buyers now. We don't buy straight away. You can if you want to but I think that's more high risk. I really wait for the 5 and the 13 EMA to cross over, to give me that definite kind of confirmation that, yeah, this is looking that it's going to go bullish now. The 5 and the 13 EMA did cross over. Within this candle or this candle, if you've set up your alert, I have set this up now. So there is the 5 EMA crossover. And this has actually been quite good because price within the four hour time frame kind of moves like this. So in this candle, for example, price would be going like that because on the one minute time frame, the five minute, the one hour, whatever, 15 minute, it's doing this in that four hours. So then I did see that on, I've been looking at like gold where it happens. Price can come right down. It can tap into the 5 EMA. It can even tap into the 13 EMA. So then you would buy when that happens. Okay. So you're looking for buys. You need to have a target as well. So let's just say that you wait for price to come to here. You could have the stop loss just below this candle or down there if you'd like and then we want to have targets so there is imbalance here that needs to be filled then is there any more imbalance I think there's imbalance here. Yeah, I would say that's that there's an imbalance right there. I would have had the, I mean, TP1 there is quite short, but that would have been a good TP to have because you never know. Price could come up, tap the 62 MA, and then reverse. So if you've got in here, at least that you will have a TP smashed. Um, but then obviously the second trade did head towards this kind of like institutional candle here, this up candle before this down move. And then... Yeah, this actually come right up to the very last up candle before the down move. Can you see how it's literally wick straight into there? So you could have actually had TP1 or TP2 there. So two beautiful trades in Bitcoin. Gone through that completely with you. Hope that's making more sense for you. And yeah, Bitcoin's Bitcoin's been really good this week. Okay, let's delete all of this. Uh, let's move on to gold. Gold, gold, gold. Okay, so gold as well. Okay, let's delete this and start from scratch. So, let's start with 
doing the vertical line for the new week. Okay, so we are here. Radio. so we are currently high. So really, we I would be looking for cells at this point. And we need targets. So I would say the target would be this low there. Is there any imbalance on the left hand side? There's imbalance here. Is there any more imbalance? This is a this is like a nice little example here how there's imbalance there, right? You can see how this is wicked all the way down. It's filled in this imbalance and then it's it's carried on, right? That's what happens all the time. It fills fills in imbalance and then and then carries on or reverses. Uh, is there any more imbalance? I mean, this is going quite quite far down now, but let's just zoom back out. Okay. So it's gone right down to here. Uh, yeah, so that was the end before it started reversing. So I had my targets as here and, and this imbalance to be filled. Definitely this one I had I had as my take profit. So the 5 and the 13 EMA has crossed here. Can you see how it's all yellow now? So although we're above the 62 EMA, I know we've been quite high for a while, so I'll be looking for to sell high. Then we've had the fractal telling us there's a potential reversal in the market. And I believe this was the one where I got in for a sell around here. So a quick look on my gold oh so that was the buy actually i did catch this sell i did catch the sell as well and i caught the buy so this candle here potential reversal in the market five and the 13 ema has crossed over targets is in balance and this 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 low here so sell Take profit was smashed. You're done. Then we look to go for longs now because we're buying low. I just accidentally removed the Monday. Okay, so that was that trade. Okay, next one. This is a beautiful trade to catch and the reason why I got in for a buy on gold just quickly show you so I got in for a buy here and the reason why I had the 5 and the 13 EMA crossover alert go off so I looked at the chart and I noticed that liquidity was captured Uh, it was captured here. See how these lows were swept by this candle, this wick here. So this wick, it's taken out all these guys. I don't trade support and resistance, but anyways they got swept and then so i've looked at the chart i've seen a liquidity grab and then i've seen the 5 and the 13 ema has crossed over and i'm going okay this is looking like it's going to take off like a rocket where's my targets there's imbalance here is the target yeah and then i had the 
institutional candle here. So this last up candle before this down move. And then I actually bought on the slyer higher, higher side because I was so busy, I couldn't really wait for the to get in on the 5 EMA, which is like the pullback. However, I was very confident that this was still going to take off. So I actually got in around here, but price did actually come down and it did actually tap the 5 EMA and I believe the 13 EMA. I had my stop loss below there. I mean, you could have it there as well, but I did actually have it around there. Take profit one was around here. And then I was banking that it was going to reach this area up here. So I went in for buy. And as you can see, you can see there my take profit is actually above the high. So my take profit is actually, take profit was there. So this is a 1 to 13 trade, absolutely insane trade. And then as you can see, it actually smacked through my take profit and I banked 2,633 pips, which is another crazy, crazy trade. So gold was beautiful as well. And I've only been looking at gold and Bitcoin. So very, very happy I got in those two trades. This is exactly how I'm trading in a nutshell, just the same thing over and over again, if I'm being honest with you. So that was gold. And yeah, I would, I would say install this fractals and we can just all just use it moving forward. And then we're all looking at the, the same thing. Okay. So we've covered Bitcoin. We've covered gold. We've covered fractals. I did also create a new video regarding the how to move your stop loss to break even automatically in C Trader. Please go ahead and watch that if you haven't done so already. There is an update for that. So when I was in the Bitcoin trade, I believe, or the gold, I think it was Bitcoin. No, I think it was gold actually. Uh, was it bold? Anyways, one of the trades, I showed how to set this up so it automatically sets your stop loss to break even. However, when I got in for a buy on gold and I set the auto stop loss to break even, that was on a Thursday, I believe, I got in that trade. I went to sleep, so I put my laptop to sleep. When I woke up, the trade was like a thousand pips or 1500 pips in profit but on my phone when i woke up the stop loss hadn't moved itself to break even even though i did set that up on the desktop c trader and i think i have read that your system has to be open and connected to the internet for it to work so as soon as i turned my laptop on the stop loss and logged into obviously c trader the stop loss moved itself to break even automatically. I then looked at my phone and it synced and it done the same thing on my phone. So just be mindful that your system has to be awake or connected to the internet for that to happen. There is VPS servers that can do that for you. However, maybe if you just put the laptop not to sleep and you just lock the laptop instead of like putting it to sleep or shutting it down maybe that will work over the night i don't know maybe it's worth trying i think it probably will work because it's obviously still awake so yeah just wanted to give you an update on that auto stop loss to break even there is trailing stop losses you can use i'm not too sure if there's an auto version for that i think there is yeah i think that it there is an auto version for that, so I'll do a video on that soon as well. 
And then just moving over back to the trade plan, I would say ignore this for a while. So don't worry about the whole flip close. Just use the fractals instead. So use the fractals. The blues are just the new things I've added. And then the exit is a previous high or low. I forgot to mention that on the last stream. And then just a, just something on patience, really. You have to have the patience of a saint. You need to have this discipline to be patient for your trade setups. Then the patience for your trades to play out. Most people wait a month to be paid from once from a job. We need to be patient to be paid for our trades. Quality over quantity. So for myself, trading on the four hour time frame, I have to be super, super patient and wait for the exact moment to get in. So that's why you have your trading plan and your checklist and you stick to everything. And then once the time is right, you get in and then you have to be patient thereafter for your trades to play out. Uh, the Did I put in here about the... I'm not going to read the whole thing, but I would do auto stop loss to break even um, in C Trader. Just set that up as well. And then obviously the fractals indicator, we're going to be using that moving forward. And I'm going to test the alerts on it. And I believe that is everything for this week. I appreciate everyone that jumps on and watches these streams and these sessions. I appreciate everyone that's joined the Trade Masters free Telegram group. It is growing. It's at eight at the moment. I post the trades that I take. Like, really, I want you guys to learn this strategy for yourself so you can learn this all for yourself, take the trades yourself, do the analysis yourself, rather than me just dishing you out signals and stuff because that's what it's all about. And I assume that that's why most of you are watching this because you just want to learn how to trade right and then one other thing is once you're patiently waiting for your trades i do have a lot of audio books on my channel so feel free to go and listen to those there's a lot on trading psychology there's a lot all related to trading i've got a lot of trading videos as well just go and check out the playlist go and consume that and put that to use and yeah that's it for this week as always, the Trade Masters Telegram is completely free to use. Link in the bio to join. FP Markets is the broker. If you're consider, considering going live and you're getting results now from your demo trading on the strategy, you can, if you want to, and I appreciate if you did, just sign up using the link in my bio and then deposit funds that way. And obviously trade this strategy and... It's all good. We get to use any lot size on any market. I'm also affiliated with TradingView. So currently I get the 20 alerts with TradingView. 20 is, is more than enough. So I really like TradingView with those types of alerts. I'm still to test the C Trader alerts for the 5 and the 13 and 62 EMA. Finishing up now on the stock market news, actually, for next week. I didn't actually have that ready. Uh, let's have a quick look for the next week. Go away, ads. I don't want to see your... How do you get rid of this? There it is. Economic calendar. What have we got going on? So it'll be the 14th, Monday the 14th. Really only concentrating on the red folder news. So nothing on Monday that's quite quiet. Tuesday, GBP news there. There's a US on Tuesday at 1.30. That might potentially move the markets a little bit. Wednesday. Wednesday, have we got anything? No, doesn't look like there's anything on Wednesday. Anything on Thursday? 
Thursday. Uh, yes, there is. There is all this here. Okay, so Thursday is going to be probably a busy day. Friday. What have we got on Friday? There's building permits here on Friday at 1.30. So that could be a good finish to the week. And that's it really. It's looking okay. Thursday to Friday might be the, the busiest days of the week. And that's kind of what I noticed really actually for the past few months. Like Thursday and Friday seems, seems to be very, very busy, which is which is all good. And then on the Monday... Once I get the market outlook for the week, I will be posting that to the description. So you will see in detail each day and what to look out for. I appreciate everyone that's jumped in the stream. Please subscribe if not, if you haven't done so already. And I will see you in the next one. Have a good week. Bye.